How's it going, everybody? Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. It is currently 3 in the morning. I am dog-tired, but I just woke up for like a five-hour nap, sleeping session, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Schedule is still way messed up, but I figured I would do this because it's been on my mind for a little bit of kind of how I want to do this. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not tired of training, but I'm tired of showing you training. Because that's I mean, I realize that's what a majority of this game is. It's just grinding and training, some PQs, all that jazz. And that's not a bad thing by any means. But I kind of want to give you guys like a break and intermission. I did five episodes. I'm up to like level... I don't actually know what I actually showed you in the videos. But I'm level 50 now. So that's a good stopping point for right now i would think i will come back i will do the montages i know some people actually do enjoy the montages so that will continue on there's no problem with that but what i'm going to do today is i'm going to walk around well right for right now victoria island and tell you all the i guess experiences and memories and anything i can think of i have a few things wrote down here about what i actually remember about this game the fun bits, the annoying bits, the sad bits, the at times I had I was really happy because this game, I don't want to say it got me through a lot of stuff, but it did. Uh, I wasn't going through a rough time like emotionally or family or anything like that. It just school was a killer. It was like Pirates just came out, so I think that was like 2010 maybe, 2009, 2010. I can't remember exactly. And this game was just awesome. It was school, sleep, and this. I'm not going to lie. And that's all I did. And it was one of the best times of my life. This and World of Warcraft. But that's for a whole nother video. And if you're here from MapleStory, you don't care about World of Warcraft. So, we will continue on. And we will go to the spot where I don't really have a lot of... Uh, I don't really have a lot of memories here. I did a few things. Like, we had some... Uh, we had some, like, uh, drop parties... Everybody drops everything, and then whoever gets a hold of it first, you know, that's theirs now. Uh, this is in the game room. I'm, I really was not ever sure what the game room was for. Game zone, game park, whatever. Like, I understand there's mini games, but I don't really know. Okay, it was these mini games. Allmok and match cards. I didn't play Allmok. I don't know what Allmok even is. I know match cards is like, you, you match cards. It's it's pretty straightforward. Uh but I know you need the, you need the all mock pieces and an all mock board and a whole faff. So I've never really messed with it too much. But that's the game zone. Like I said, not very much happened there to me. This room right here, this is Athena's or the old hag's house. It's for the Bowman thing. I've already showed you all that because I am a Bowman. I don't believe I actually ever made a Bowman in GMS back then. I don't know the first time I did actually make a Bowman. There's no clue. I I can't remember it. Because it was definitely an assassin first. That was a hundred percent. So there is Tori right there. The bunny quest. I don't remember playing it very often, but I do remember it being a thing. I I, I could not tell you how to how to do the bunny uh, party quest. But I know you get the little rice cake on top is it rice cake? Rice ball. I think it's like a rice cake. You get it on top of your head. But that's what you get from there. Pet park, which is this part here. You go to your cat and you go up. The pet park, I used to do this all the time because I, I, I'm not really sure. It was just a fun jump quest. I sucked at it, but man, was it fun. And start all the way over here at one. Talk to Bartos. And this is how you get the multi pet skill, if I remember correctly, like to get three pets. Yeah, I'm not going to do this right now. Well, yes, I am. I'm going to get to the top, but you guys won't see that. I'm just going to jump straight to it because I feel like I want to experience this one more time because it's been a long time, so I will see you at the top of this, and I might break something. We'll see. Okay, so after much deliberation <laughs> and maybe a few tears, I made it. <laughs> made it all the way up here. Train of fraud. I want to cry. And I don't get anything for this, so... I'm gonna go have a little tear to myself, okay? Okay. Ah, the barbershop. Everybody loved being in the barbershop for some reason. There was always a few people here. Whether they were 
being henny hoes or I, I don't know what, but everybody loved being in the freaking barbershop. Loved it. I, did, I never understood it. I got my hair cut a couple times, but it, I, people just like talking to barbershops. I don't get it, but that was a thing. I was joking, by the way, about the crying on the uh, whole pet party qu or jump quest thing, whatever. Seriously, though, why did people love being in the haircut in place? Barbershop, haircut in place, whatever. It was cool, I guess. I can't remember how exactly, but I remember there was a way to get up with big with a big headward. I can't for a lot. I believe it was... Oop, didn't mean to do that. I can't remember exactly, but there was a way to get up with a big headward. Was it... Oh, uh, more jump quests. I want to say that's how you did it, but I honestly cannot remember for the life of me, and I'm terrible at it. So... I'm not going to try it. Doofus. Uh, buddy, you... I can't see your name and not think of Scream. So, not Scream. Scary movie. So, sorry about you. This point right here, where I'm standing, maybe a little bit to the left, whatever. This point right here is the main reason I've made a gunslinger. And if anybody knows what I'm talking about just by saying that, that's like, that, you don't know the time and effort just to make a level 30 gunslinger. Just to do this, okay? This was insane. And when follow came out, like when follow was a thing, people would follow you, you could, that was a money maker. That's how I made money for a little while anyways. Because what you did was, you used your recoil shot and you needed, I believe, at least 10 in recoil shot for this. Or maybe it was, maybe 5 in recoil shot and 10 in wings or 10 recoil shot and 5 in wings. Can't remember exactly, but recoil shot, you hit right here and you winged, okay? And you flew all the way across the map and you landed on top of this stupid shed on top of Gatchpon. That's what you did. Like, this is where everybody loved to be at. One other place in Genesis, but this right here, there was tons of people. They weren't doing Gatchpon. I don't know why they liked being here so much, but top of this freaking shelf, or er, shed right here was that was that was the stuff that was it people loved it i would argue some people made a gunslinger like me purely because of that which was dumb but i mean people are do their own thing two more places in Genesis that i'm going to speak about here they're right next to each other one's right here and one's right over here underneath the tree next to cody these two places was the epitome of Hinniho. People loved to be here and do nothing. <laughs> I never understood it. Like, sure, I would AFK here. That would actually be AFKing, though. Like, that's it. There's Gunslinger. Or uh, Corsair. But I, d I never understood people's fascination with Hinniho. They just sit here all NXed out, all cash shopped out, and just talk about the stupidest stuff. I wish I understood people's fascination with that, but I will never understand it, unfortunately. So, I mean, oh, gosh. That's enough for Hennessy, though. We will find our next town now. Alright, so Pyrion. Pyrion was... It was... It was a good place. Um, I didn't cre... I definitely did. I cannot remember what I, my first class was. I want to say... It was a page, or it was warrior, then turned to a page. Uh, I believe I made a page. I got that to like level 35, and that's roughly where I stopped with that. This is all pre-bang, pre-big bang, by the way. I don't know if I specified that. I probably did not, because I played GMS all the way to like the red update. I believe red update sounds familiar. Maybe a little bit after that. I I don't remember exactly, but that's. <sighs> It's Fall Rogue. Just a terrible dude, let's be honest. You know, it's the end of that one. He's not a terrible dude. Um, I hated coming to Perion because whenever you teleported here or took a return scroll, you never, at least I never, came up here. Like, I've never teleported to up in this direction anytime I need to talk to Dance with Fall Rogue. And this is a tall map. 
and I was too dumb to use portals, if there even are portals. I can't remember if there are vertical portals in, portals in this map. There probably is, but I, I don't remember. Uh, but this is... Uh, when Cygnus and Knights came out, I had to come here a lot. That was... was Cygnus Knights... That was... Yeah, Cygnus Knights were before Big Bang ended, technically. Or before Big Bang. So I guess it's Junior Boogies, what I'm talking about. Bogies, Boogies, whatever you want to call them, I don't care. That's that's what I came to Perion for, a lot. Uh, and I hated coming to Perion because that's, I'm all my knowledge is running together and it's kind of driving me insane because you had to kill the puppet dude and you had to come to Perion a lot, I want to say, because you had to talk to Junior Bogies because that was... Uh, there's nothing really exciting to happen to me. It's what an exciting time for me. I'm sure Warriors loved it. And when I created my hero after Big Bang, I love that hero. I I definitely I was cool with Perion. I did you know, use a lot, but I I can't remember any specifics before Big Bang, honestly. Anything notable? Well, I do apologize if you really liked Perion. All right. So the Nautilus, Nautilus Harbor. This is where you created your pirate at. And since I did tell you already that I created a gunslinger, I spent a decent amount of time here. Nautilus was cool, because this is the first map you get to experience water. Well, you might be able to do it in Lith Harbor, I honestly can't remember. This is the first map I experienced water, and the effects of it, like, you don't, you can't, you can't drown. And you get to jump really high. And I used... I was very easily entertained as a child, I guess. Because I remember doing this all the time. Just running across. It, then you get the octopus here. The little baby octopus. It, it was adorable. And I think there's a... What's up top here? A crow? Okay, not a crow. Bart. With a bird on his head. I do remember that now. Okay. The Nautilus was confusing, but that's mainly just because I'm dumb. Uh, favorite bit about all the Nautilus, this right here, the thing I'm walking on. It's a power cord going into a giant outlet that has batteries attached to it. Freaking batteries. My, it was my, all, one of my favorite bits because it made no sense. There's a freaking plug into the in, in the ship. Okay, that's, that's what's that. But like I said, I got confused in the Nautilus because I'm dumb. Mainly, I don't read signs. Like, you know this up arrow right here? Yeah, completely ignored it. And then a little bit over to the right, this down arrow, completely ignored it. I'm dumb. There's Cheryl. I forget what he turns to. Maybe a human after you complete this quest. I always do that quest. Obviously, I haven't this time, but I used to always do it. But, Nautilus, I, I wish I had more memories about everything else besides, like, Genesis and Kerning City, because that's where I spent all my time at. I spent a decent amount of time as a pirate here, but that's about it. Why? I never really had a reason to come here unless I was a pirate. Does that make sense? I hope it does, because I don't have a better way to explain it like that. Also, not sure where the cab is, so... I may have to walk the next town. Aha! I found it. Do you ever remember, like, this is gonna make no sense. You see something and you remember where it was? Like, I, I seen it, so obviously I knew it was here. But then as soon as I seen it, I remembered I knew it was here. Does that make sense? Probably not. Oh, well, I'm going crazy. It's 3.30 in the morning, and I'm losing my mind. Anyways. Here we are, Lith Harbor. This is where you start. This is where every explorer started. Well, in Victoria. Do you want to be technical? To be honest here, it's where you, it's not where you started at. You started Maple Island, obviously. But once you're done with Maple Island, you came to Victoria Island. Victoria Island, yes, came to Victoria Island, and you came to Lith, Lith Harbor. And some of you, like me. Probably didn't do a freaking thing in Lith Harbor. 
you talked to Olaf over there, and you went and did your job. Because that was the quick thing to do, I guess. I mean, that's, that's what you did. And I never come back to Lith Harbor unless it's for something meaningless. Maybe I'm talking to somebody. Maybe I'm doing a video talking about how nobody goes to Lith Harbor. <laughs> That's the reason why you go to Lith Harbor. I can't think, besides a few quests, sure. I can't think of a good reason to come to Lith Harbor. It's nothing exciting here. There was never anything exciting here. In my opinion, of course. It's all opinionated. You don't like it? I'm sorry. I'm not going to change. It's my opinion. That being said, it is cool. Because this is where you start. This is where you start on Victoria Island. Even if it is extremely meaningless. Alright, so you guys don't uh, know this. But I recorded this entire video in one take. You could probably guess it, but you technically didn't know. Except for the fact that I forgot to talk about Elena. Alenia, Lelna, I've still never learned how to say its name. Regardless. Like I said, it was 3.30 in the morning. I forgot this town existed. Uh, so, maybe for good reason, I never... I, I think I created a mage, and I got to, like, level 15 and stopped. Pre-Big Bang, anyways. That's, that's as far as I got, so I don't have any memory of Elena except for the flight path. I would all, all, obviously always come here for the flight path. And that's about it. So, <laughs> I do apologize that I did forget this, but I'm making up for it right now as I'm speaking to you now. I, I just have no memories of this. Um, I have some memories of like outside of Elena because I used to go kill the slimes and everything. But besides that, I have no knowledge of this. Except for when I made a Cygnus Knight. So I believe you do the first few quests in Elena. Besides that, though, I have no knowledge of this. So, I apologize, but here you go. On to Sleepy Wood. Okay, so I want to go to Sleepy Wood, and I want to talk about Sleepy, Sleepy Wood. Like, I know I'm technically early, and I've, I have one more town. But I'm saving that town for last for a very specific reason, so bear with me, please. Sleepy Wood is a very iconic place, okay? You have to talk to Eureka here. Yurik, Yurik, I'm, I've always said Eureka. I only just realized there's no A at the end of her name. Regardless, this is the lady you gotta talk, come to if you're ever going to scroll any other item besides what you can wear. Like as a bowman, I can wear a bow or crossbow. That's the only thing I can scroll, unless you get this quest from her. Uh, you need the red whip and a few scrolls. I want to say they're 100% scrolls, so they're not that hard to get. You can probably get them from Vega or one of the scroll sellers in Ludibrium Tower, EOS Tower, and then whatever the other tower is. I can't remember off the top of my head. I was they can get them all from there. And if not, you can definitely get them in the free market. It's, it's, it's where you can scroll anything. You need to do it. I haven't did it yet, but I also haven't scrolled anything yet, so it's kind of, it's kind of regardless. Hotel. I used to come to the hotel for quite a lot. For no real reason. Uh, I never understood why I would come to the hotel. Didn't take off my shoes and I'm not wearing a bathrobe. And now I'm touching the hot rocks. Anyways, I'm reading the warning signs over there. I used to come to the hotel and the sauna. Because I was cheap. Okay? I would come here to heal myself. This is before I knew... I knew what potions were, obviously... This is when I first started the game. I didn't have a lot of money. So, you can probably see where I'm going with this. Maybe. It, it didn't make any sense in retrospect. Because it was 999 coins. I mean, that's not a lot. Meso, sorry, not coins. That's not a lot. But, <laughs> let's be honest here. A, what is it, an Anagi? It gives you 1,000 health and it's... 500? 600? I've already forgot how much it costs for an Anagi. Regardless, I would come here and just sit here and heal up because I was too lazy to sit in my freaking chair. And I was too greedy? Is that the right word? Frivolous? 
No, frivolous means spending money. I was not frivolous enough. I would not spend my money, any money that I got, except to come in this stupid sauna and sit here and heal up. It didn't make a bit of sense, but I did it for months while I played that freaking assassin. I don't know why I did it. I'm still angry about it. Because how much time I wasted in this stupid freaking sauna. Oh, but hey, those memories, guys. The ant tunnels. You've seen me here. You've seen me train. This is where I spent ungodly amounts of time when i had my first character here i had that assassin i came and did the 999 horny mushrooms quest i came and did the 999 zombie mushrooms quest and i'll be damned if i did not hate this game about halfway through that thing because i did not understand why they would give you a quest that had 999 enemies you need to kill that is insane Especially when you can't get this close to him or you're going to punch him and do one damage. I have a sword on, so I'm doing more damage. Regardless, I can't explain my anger with myself and this game when I finished those quests. Because I was so happy to be done with these quests and I hated it. I probably quit the game for a couple weeks because I was so angry. I didn't want to touch or look at this game again. For not a lot of experience. I mean, it was a decent amount. But it was not worth it. It really was not. The only reason I would suggest doing those quests, if you're training here anyways, like in my montage that you've already seen, I was already training here. It was a, It's a good spot to train. I don't, I don't deny that. So I might as well have went and did the quests. But, oh, do not ever come and do these quests just because you want to. Just save yourself the trouble and the headache and the tears and... Oh, God, bad memories. Bad memories. If you've been paying attention, we have one more stop in Victoria Island. There are some more things I could talk about, but I'm mainly talking about the main bits. I'm not going to go to Florian Beach. I don't want to. Pointless. I don't have any memories of that of that beach, so it's, it's regardless. So hopefully you've been keeping up and you know what town I'm going to next. Maybe you can uh, guess. Guess to yourself. Make a little game out of it. Hopefully you've been keeping up at least that much. If not, I don't care. It's whatever. You do you, boo. Okay? Last city. Ta-da! Hopefully you guessed Kerning City. If you didn't, I feel bad for you because it's like, there's like six towns. And if you, yeah, you had a one in six chance. Come on. You, you got this. I know you did. Anyways, Kerning City is where I started my journey in Maple. Honestly. This is where everything happened. Yes, technically... I started in Lith Harbor. Technically, I started in Maple Island. But as my assassin, as my thief, I started in Kerning City. I talked to this arrogant prick. I, I just didn't like the way he spoke when I was younger. And he drove me insane with the talk down, disconcerning attitude. Like he just didn't care about you. Which, to be fair, he's a thief. He probably didn't care about you. He's, a, he's the Dark Lord. Uh, like, that's some Harry Potter. I mean, that, that's some Harry Potter bullcrap, okay? He was a prick. That's fine. Whatever. This is where... It, the toilet. <laughs> forgot, I was, forgot about the toilet. I haven't been in here in, since I came back. Oh, that's stupid. Fr <sighs> Please forgot about that. Regardless. I never... Probably gonna make fun of me. I never realized what kind of toilet this was. I thought there was no commode in there. Being from United States, we don't have very many different types of toilet. We have the one. You know what toilet I'm talking about. I only just realized that's the toilet you uh like you like where my middle middle body is. You you put your feet there and you squat down. I I only just noticed that after this many years. Wow, okay. And you go through the toilet to get to... Wow. <sighs> wow. Can't believe I just noticed that. Regardless, this this city is where it all happened. This is where everything started. Which... <sighs> I got the Veil 4 hat here. Like, that was... That hat was the stuff. Everybody wore that. It went from that... 
to the Zackum Helm, if you could get a Zackum Helm. That was the that was the progression. Balfour hat, Zackum Helm. Especially if you had no money. Let's put it that way. If you had no money, that was the progression. Even if you had money, that was probably the progression. Because you started out with 12 luck on a helmet. That's That was insane at the time. It's insane now. Uh, but this... This... this this is where my journey started. <laughs> like, I can't... This is the ultimate amount of memories. This is where everything started for me. I will never forget this city. This town. Whatever you want to call it. I know it's Kearney City. They're all towns to me. And what I loved about this place... It, it kind of drew me, drove me insane at first. Because there's no portals. You just have to know that you can come to this pharmacy. Click up. And go buy potions. I can't tell you how long it told me to. It took me to find potions in Kerning City. It was insane how long it took me because I'm stupid. I mean, I was a stupid kid. Whatever. And oh, it was just so fantastic. It really was. I can't. I can't tell you how much I love this city and how much time I spent in this city. Oh, it's so amazing. I wish I had more to say about this place, but I don't. Uh, this is just Kearney City. This is where everything started for me. I know I've beat that horse to the ground saying that about 30 times, but it is, and there's some things that you will absolutely never forget when you start playing a game. I will never forget Maple Island. I will never forget all those stupid henny hoes in this game, and I will never forget Kearney City. There are certain things about Victoria Island that I will never forget. And if you want to count it, because I do want to count it, but I'm not going there because I don't feel like doing it again because I hate the airships. The airships is, was a... I know I've said it before. The airships was a huge, huge, like, memory dump. I remember so much stuff happened there. I, like, I know I've told you that I, I was in my... I was invited to my first guild there. I was in that guild for ever. And I loved it. And then I left and I came back and nobody was there anymore. And that hurts when you come back to... Granted, it was my fault. I left. I couldn't play the game anymore. I played it too much. But when you talk to these people every single day, you tell them you go on a little break, they're like, alright, I'll see you when you get back. And when you come back and they are not there anymore, that sucks that hurt when you're a kid and just going into his teenage years and you have this you, you create a connection with people like yes i had friends with school i didn't i played with a few people from friends with school but i wasn't in the same guild as them so i talked to them occasionally they're on my buddies list and it was great that i could still connect with them because i like i came back and they were still playing the game my friends were from for life so i always had that connection with them but when you come back and you're like a not a preteen. I just became a teenager. Like, there's a lot of things going on when you're a teenager. A lot of it all stupid in retrospect. Okay, all of it was stupid in retrospect. But, you just, you, that sucked. It really did. I came back to the game. Guildmates were gone. Maybe one or two of them are still there. But it was not how it was. And there are some things and some memories that you will never get back. And there's some that you won't remember. And that was one that I wish I remembered more. I can't remember the guild name. I, I, I remember all we talked about was a freaking Miku. You know, the Vocaloid. Oh, that's all they talked about. So I, I, I learned something new. And, and studied and just... Oh. God, so much stuff went into my head over something I didn't care about just so I could have a conversation with these people because that's all he talked about. I... I don't know. I want to say thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this. It was... It brought back a lot of memories and feelings that I had just doing all this because I haven't sat down and actually thought about this game, about Victoria Island, where everything where everybody starts and it uh, I don't know it feels good but it also brings back some weird memories good memories bad memories sad memories happy memories
that's what this is all about guys you're supposed to bring back the nostalgia this is the path of nostalgia these are the things that you have to remember okay don't forget the things that brought you to this game and what made you happy thanks for listening goodbye Thank you.